are in 2017, guys. Happy New Year. Your friendly neighborhood lady Oshino here and welcome to this fashionably late holiday special. I'm sure you already got back to school or to work, but um, I just hope you have some nostalgia already from this amazing holiday season. So I hope this episode is going to be here to warm your heart. And uh, yeah, let's enjoy this uh, half an hour special. So as you could see on the title screen, we are building today a Christmas factory. Yes, the full thing, in a single episode. Uh, it became quite long and uh, I hesitated into making it into two episodes, but in the end yeah, I decided to make it a one extra long episode. So here it is, and I hope you will enjoy the build. So before entering into details uh, about this project, let me tell you about what's happening on the screen because it goes already on and I'm not talking about it yet, so let's get to it. So. As you could see just now, I built uh, the setting first, so a kind of an isolated mountain just to, to have some nice setting ready for, for this factory. So um, this is done, and now we're already starting with the, the actual building itself. So uh, what this factory is about, basically, it's, it's you know, when you, you're talking about Christmas as an unrealistic thing with all the, the Santa Claus. This uh, factory is, is inscribing itself into this law, you could say. So, there is a, a bit of a history about the building itself. Basically, I wanted uh, to be originally that kind of a small workshop made of wood lost in the mountains, you know, among the snow. And this small workshop would become more of a, of a big industry in order to, to get toys to all the children in the world. So that's why the first part of this build, as we are building it right now, is actually that original small workshop, which is more of a hut than anything else. And it's pretty raw and made of wood mostly. So that is the, the, the first part of this, this building. But then it became a very big empire t to some extent. And it, got, it needed some, some extension to the, to the building. So that's why after that we're gonna build the actual big factory that is like spawning all around the, the initial workshop in a much more modern style and uh, clearly a, of a much larger scale. And uh, you're gonna see that very soon, but that's I think that was an interesting way to do it. and having like different of styles marking the difference between the original small and modest origins into the growing empire of toys making we all know of today, I guess. So yes, to get back to this small workshop, you see it's very simple, just uh, front door which is also basically the front door for the factory actually it's like still the main entrance in the end I think and uh, then you know just a little bit of a balcony and some simple windows uh, as for the project uh, of the factory itself I wanted to do everything in a self-contained episode and for that I also wanted the factory to be a single piece of building that would be integrally in one single piece um, uploadable to the workshop so I had to make everything under 2,000 pieces in order to be able to upload it as is. So that's uh, that was a bit difficult and I had to keep low on detail and pieces and pulleys. So yeah, this is basically the result. And we're already starting to build the larger modern area of the factory, which is the main body of the building. Uh, I chose that weird color for the bricks because I wanted to to do something kind of festive and you know not like a si simple and normal factory. It is after all Santa Claus factory of one of them, I guess. So I want to do something a bit special. The colors are going to change uh, later on, but this is the main color I'm going with at the moment, and this is actually basically building the structure of uh, that factory. So the concept is for the factory itself. I wanted, I did not want it to go into something completely imaginary and like made of uh, the new pieces uh, of um, gingerbread, for example. I could have done like a full gingerbread building, but that would not be very realistic to some extent. If I can talk about realism here, uh, that wouldn't be very realistic about a factory that is like creating a huge amount of toys. So what I wanted is to have some very realistically inspired uh, factory 
just like it would be in the real world, maybe a kind of an old-fashioned 20th century industrial revolution type factory, but with the, the twist that Santa Claus would bring to it, so some warm colors, which explain the weird color theme, but also lots of Christmassy details, which are going to go obviously at the end when we get into the details of decoration of the building. But this is why uh, the main factory, I decided to do something quite serious and realistic about the building itself. I felt that was the way to go, to have something interesting in the end. And that's the, actually the whole difficulty of this, is to, to have something that is realistic and looks like a factory, but also needs to, needs to bring the fantasy that you'd expect from something Christmassy. And having that kind of balance and being trying to be original at the same time was actually quite difficult. And I'm not used into building factories or anything like that in games, and even less Christmas themed stuff. So that was quite a challenge to to make. At this end of the building, as you can see right now, it is actually uh, I wanted one end of the factory to be like basically the exit for all the stocks, for all the toys that are made. So these are the big two gates from where the toys actually leave the factory. And on the left right now I am starting to put the basis of the chimneys because as any big factory I wanted to have some big chimneys to illustrate, you know, all everything that works inside. As for the, the triangle shaped roof, it is pretty typical of, uh, of old fashioned factories, so I wanted to have that key element to it. Also, to, to have a, an interesting shape to the building, because if you just build a big square, it easily becomes very boring as a building, and it's difficult to, to have different types of shape and to organize the building in a way that is like interesting to look at. So, I tried when I did all the structure thing before detailing anything to have some different pieces of the building that are different. So as now, as you can see, this I also made like that small square tower, which is going to be a bit higher in the end. But this is all attempts, even this actually, this end of the building that is a bit like extruded to the front, is also another attempt, attempt in order to make that building interesting. And once again, this is where another of the main part, which is the, the small building made of bricks actually at the front also, in order to, to separate myself again from that simple square shaped building so basically from this point you get the the main the main structure of the building and i am already starting to detail to detail the um, the chimneys so as you don't have uh, pieces in the game that look uh, good enough to be a big metal made chimney for a factory i had to make it myself so i had to try several sci-fi or modern pieces in order to find the right piece and I think these ones are like the best fitting ones and you see when you assemble them in a round shape and just build on it you can get an interesting result so I decided to make it with this And this is the last part of the building, the higher block of it. And this higher piece of the building is actually, uh, in my mind, I wanted it to be like more of the, the offices and the, the boss's office and quarters. So you could say like if, he, if Santa wants to inspect the factory, he would just stay here, I, I guess. So that is, this is why this uh, area is a bit higher. And it has some kind of balcony and outside outside top balcony also which is interesting and from now on I'm basically starting to detail the the building as we have the main figure of the building done we, are, we can start detailing it so this piece of the wall was actually difficult I couldn't find inspiration of something interesting to do that would look like factory-ish enough so I got a, a random image on on Google and there was that kind of uh, interesting wall with lots of windows and uh, it's not finished yet but the second piece was like difficult to to make at the, at the start so I decided to go on something else while trying to find a solution so just keeping on detailing stuff as a as a factory I also wanted to have some pipes apparent pipes all over the building 
to give that uh, heavy industry feeling and you know make some originality to it So this is the first type of pipes I used, which I like pretty much, and uh, I duplicated these pieces all around as you can see. and adding some details to the big gates for the finished products. So these details are basically the first ones that are Christmassy. I'm adding this building, they're basically uh, chocolate straws, actually. So it has that double function of like uh, adding an interesting and typical decoration to a building, but also as it's a Christmassy element, it also brings that aspect a little bit. These stars are actually lit at night, so I wanted to have those big stars a bit around the doors or the, the workshop. And also what I wanted, I wanted to have some different style of decoration for different parts of the building in order for the whole thing to look a bit like not a single even piece that was built at one time, but as different additions that were like added over time. And this is some brick detail just to to give it a bit more detailing uh, on the on the areas nearby the roof that are very simple. And some more fences to my uh, rooftop terrace. As you can see, I move a lot from piece to piece of the building without finishing detailing it because uh, it was difficult to get a, a good enough inspiration for all those different pieces. So I had to move here and, and there, you know, really repeatedly to, to get something done. And when I had an idea, I just went to it. And when I finished this, I went back to the former area. And that's how it was built in, uh, in the end. It was a bit messy of a process, I guess. And yes, this is a, an interesting uh, walkway suspended uh, on the front of the building. It's obviously in order to make the, that large piece of wall interesting, giving it some, uh, some dimension to it. And yes, I am fully aware that having an, an, outs, uh, an outside walkway uh, in this kind of a climate or environment is not that much of a good idea or that much of a good design, but it looks too good to be ignored, so I decided to go with it anyway. And once again, giving it a Christmassy twist with some candy canes. <laughs> which is an idea I duplicated on every places this fence was used for.
and this is where the main uh, detailing, Christmas detailing starts, starting with some lollipops on the roof. Obviously solely for cosmetic reasons and also I needed to get that fake snow uh, roofing I did on the on the workshop applied everywhere for more logic so yes I had to apply it on every roof one by one and that was actually quite a time consuming process Especially on this roof that was very weirdly shaped, it was a, it was a pain. And that's why you see the result is a bit of a makeshift of pieces. I'm adding some patches of snow a bit everywhere on the flat surfaces for more realism. Area with more windows so this is the modern windows that are pretty fitting for a factory I guess I did not want to use only these windows but I guess they are kind of unavoidable for this kind of buildings tongue candies which come in apple and strawberry flavors so I use mostly those two colors for it and this is the part I told to you presently uh, about that Google image I found I wanted those very large windows that were on the photo I wanted to, to reproduce them to some extent in the game but no no windows was close enough from it so this is basically the only piece that are really detailed like using lots of small pieces to get what I wanted in this building and I'm very happy with the result it took a while actually to make and so this is the final product of these large windows which allows me to like finish this part of the wall detail this part of the wall efficiently and um, and I actually think like this design of window is pretty good because it gives that wooden and warm Christmassy feeling but it's also like large windows are fitting for a, for a factory so I think these windows are actually the best for this building To, the, to this piece of the building that is made of brick mostly uh, I kind of see it as the boiler room of the of the factory to some extent so where most of the energy is uh, stored or comes from don't ask me about technical details I have myself no idea but yeah so I wanted to have that feeling of um, brick building with lots of tubes and pipes all around it to give that feeling so that's why I use like different types of pipes and that's where a lot of pipe works is actually happening so yeah this is basically it taking shape right now I use those uh, very handy um, pieces of pipe that are like iron pipes they're not recolorable but they have that kind of uh, reddish color they're like brick like and I like them very much they're also very easy to use and uh, give a nice effect so I kind of use them a bit everywhere in the end and you're gonna see that from now on. Also the steel framework is like acting, uh, is basically made to be the support for those pipes. So I kind of like, it's a bit of a coincidence it happened, it happened but uh, in the end it looks pretty good and I'm pretty happy with the result again.
So adding more pipes at other places of the building is also a good way to detail those uh, naked walls. And as you can see, I really enjoy these pipe pieces. modified version of the large windows, I wanted to have that smaller version on the top. And some more candy detailing, here with some chocolate sticks around the windows. In the end it, it looks like this, uh, this window is more like a giant screen, which is interesting, but yeah, that was not the desired look to it but yeah I guess it's not that disturbing so I just left it that way and now that the main part of the detailing is done we are finishing up with some candy detailing So making the original workshop extra Christmassy. For the letters upon the waters make to me. These are waffle, chocolate waffles at the at the basis of the building. And some more chocolate sticks. The chimney too needed a bit of uh, Christmassy detailing, so I did uh, use those jelly beans, which are recolored, as you can see. So it's a discreet touch, but I think it's important. And some marshmallow because who doesn't like marshmallows, right? And here are my two guards. And this is the time I finally decided to change the color of the building. It actually made such a strong difference on the final result of the building. Just uh, varying those uh, color palettes, not keeping that yellowish walls all along, but having like separate pieces of the building being recolored differently with the same wall type but different colors really made a, a big difference on the final result. And this is to me that the colors of these walls are actually what ends being the most efficient at doing, achieving that balance between the real factory and the fantasy building. And these are some gifts that would have been maybe left on the side at the end of some uh, former unpacking I guess. And those lit stars also to, to lit the doors at night. It's a bit of a practical detail also you can see. And these are some final touches of detailing. In the end, in the Steam Workshop, the building was a tiny bit more than 2,000 pieces, so I had to get rid of uh, like approximately 80 pieces. Hopefully and obviously I did get rid of the least notable one, but the, the building you're gonna get is a tiny bit simpler than this one. 
and this is one of the last step of this building is obviously those um, classical and unavoidable Christmas lightings which I had in mind from the start for the building so as the unlocking uh, needs to be very well lit I decided to like load the lights on this side of the factory in particular Christmas lights all around and we are going into night time so you can see the, the stars are lit pretty efficient so they are like showing the doors the access points so that's pretty handy and I designed the lights in order to focus on specific points of the building I wanted to to put focus on I guess and once again as these are the docks uh, I wanted it to be well lit for practical reasons sparkle on the main terrace areas and I am finishing the light design with some spotlights which are colored a little bit just a tiny bit on the chimney they are like slightly yellow in the end and also on the main walls which you're gonna see in a second So these are the spotlights. As I want to be realistic with the spotlights, they're always visible and hidden by some details. So it's going to be chocolate in this case. They're going to be hiding partially those spotlights. And also adding some final details like the special effects. So basically smoke in the chimneys and some steam on the front of the building. And that's already it for the time lapse. I hope you enjoyed the build and I see you after the cinematics. I can't believe the night lay waste all we give in. But honestly You've got to know that this ain't living But we could run And let it burn, let it burn You've got to know that nothing lasts Never thought that this would be our end. Cause we can What's left to lose if we run? 
Hello, it's me again. I hope you enjoy those cinematic shots as well as the making of this very special factory. This is it for this special. Next uh, Plant Costa video is going to be the f episode 5 of Wild County. I can't promise when it's going to be released because I'm having some schedule issues at the moment. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that. I promise I'm going to be as fast as I can about this. If you enjoyed this video, as usual, you can click on the subscribe button to not miss anything else, as well as the subscribe below the video, you also have the community buttons if you want, and leave a like or a comment, it keeps me going, and I always enjoy them, obviously. Thank you again for watching, and I see you in the next one.